Snaps Drunk. Welcome back to Snaps Drunk Plays XLA. We have yet another new weapon, and it's really not all that great. It's a cluster bomb. Um, it is somewhat useful in this level because it's a side-scrolling level, so it allows you to get on top of enemies at the very least. But on the overhead levels, not so much. I mean, I guess kind of. It, there is stuff on the surface that you fly over. It's hard to tell what you can fly over and what you can't, though. So, it is still a little bit of a crapshoot. These things go explode and they fire a million missiles at you, and they are the biggest pain in the ass in this level. Anyway, this is a really cool looking level. It's an underwater thingy. Watch out for the, oh yeah, watch out for those in the bottom there. These are a tremendous pain in the ass. This level is a lot, not a lot different, but they do change a few things pretty significantly in the uh, harder difficulty levels. There's like more stuff reaching out to kill your ship. Um, especially on one specific part. Oh, look out. These things are fucking weird. Why is it with these under these weird, like, cave or underwater levels? It always has these fucked up looking enemies. Wow, this is getting a little chaotic. Getting all Darius twin on us with these, en these enemy designs. Look like. Like, this thing looks like straight out of Darius twin. Ah, shit! Oh, well, at least it didn't. It wasn't off. At least I got this weapon back. It's the silver lining of death in this game is you get your old weapons back, the more powerful weapons. And this is a that is the trickiest part of this whole level is getting past that part right there, because those missiles are insta death. And there's no way to hit that thing because it's protected by a barrier, so you can't hit it you have to kind of just like just barely trigger it and then back off or try and speed ahead of it while getting rid of all the enemies in front of you now you, coming up here we're gonna right here we're gonna split to above ground and underwater you always want to take or at least i prefer to take the underwater stage especially on easy um see those little mounds of goo there on the top and the bottom those will rise up and poke you and get in your way and are a general pain in the ass on the harder difficulty levels, but here they just sit there. So that makes it a little easier to go down this path. Up top on the surface, it's way harder. I don't remember off the top of my head what's even like up there, but I just know this part, this uh, path is easier. Again, pretty cool that the game gives you uh, choices to where you want to navigate. Coming up here is one of my least favorite parts in the whole game. A lot of cheap deaths. Oh, I'm on my last guy here, aren't I? Shit. I gotta survive all the way to the boss. Boss isn't that hard in this level. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding me! <sighs> Alright, let's start over. Motherfucker. Arms installation is complete. Good luck. I was playing this with uh, my girlfriend, and she sounded, she's, or she said, uh, it sounds like he's saying good dog. It'd be funny if the pilot was actually a dog going all Star Fox on us with the anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic, I don't know how to say that word. Anyway, start over. Kill this fucker before it explodes, thank you. These fuckers, this fucker, and this fucker. Thank you. Again, the cluster bombs really aren't that useful yet. They they are on on the boss for sure, but right now there's not much of a use for them, unfortunately. God, Jesus. Yeah, those... Oh, come on! There. At least I still have this thing. This thing's pretty powerful. It's a shower of slow-motion Sunset Rider-style bullets. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. Coming up on the split. Oh, you see, you can't hit that thing up there. It's going to explode as you move past it. Look out. Ah! I hate that. Oh, come on. Shit. Oh, this one's even more tricky. Come on. This is bullshit. I better not die again. I don't want to freaking go through the same section all over again. All right, got to be real careful. I th think I have another free guy coming up at 30,000. No, that can't be right. Maybe at 50,000? I don't know. There, oh, I was right. Wow, I'm really right about that stuff. But That's very, very useful. <laughs> cool. Next free guy is at 50,000, maybe? I don't know. I think it goes 10,000, 30,000, and then it's not for a while. Same old, same old. Let's move ahead, please. You know it would be cool for a game like this? If you could control the scrolling yourself. Kind of like on Tetris Attack. If you could like hold the R button or something and scroll it yourself. The Super Nintendo hardware probably can't handle something like that, but that'd be kind of cool. It's like you can come to a complete stop and, f and fast forward. Or actually, it wouldn't really be fair. It'd be a pretty easy game if, if you could come to a complete stop. All right, let's not go near the ceiling or the floor this time. No cheap deaths. Okay, these stupid little pebble things you have to make uh, disappear here. All right, Gina ah, get off me are a ginormous pain in the ass because the tiniest little one is an insta-death. Uh. See? That's bullshit. Actually, I think it was the... Yeah, I'll just use my temporary invincibility to move ahead. Uh. All right, boss time coming up here. Hopefully I won't die. This boss is pretty easy. It's just a big blob with a really obvious area, and its main weapon doesn't even kill you. It just confuses your ship and switches weapons. <laughs> up and down, up and down. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Ah, oh, shit. Cool. Burst through the ceiling. See, the really... Even this, like, lightning thing does not matter. Like, it just switches your weapon. It's like... Oh no, this boss is mildly annoying. See, switch to my cluster bombs. It's pretty effing easy. It doesn't get hard until it starts shooting lasers in every which direction. It becomes hard to predict. And I suppose there's always the threat of it running into you. Yeah, I might as well drop some bombs on this motherfucker. Yeah. See, that's useful. That does a lot of damage. It's like, oh, thank you for switching to a more... The weapon I was going to switch to anyway. Oh, shit, here we go. Now we've got the laser things. That means um, I've almost got them taken care of. These things are impossible to predict, though. Look the fuck out. Come on. Ah! Come on. Should be shortly now. Ah, uh, there we go. Thank God. All right. Didn't have to play that whole level all over again. Looks like a boat there. Okay, did we get any new weapons this time? Yeah, we got the circle weapon. That thing's a piece of shit, though. It's not very good. I prefer to stick with the, uh, the, the throttle weapon. Even though it's a little bit weaker, the other weapon is just kind of clumsy. It's the worst weapon in the game, in my opinion. Yeah, we got the lava level. The lava worms, I guess? Fire worms? Hey, a free guy. See how far I can make it on this with just two lives. This is where the game starts to get pretty effing hard. The boss on this one is pretty tricky, and it's also one of the coolest bosses on any Super Nintendo game. Really cool. 
Those who played this game know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm going to call this an episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.